So this is interesting. EA Sports messed up. Before we get into that, open up a present right here. What are we going to get? Oh, I was hoping I had a prayer present. That was going to be the best video ever. Oh, we got a large present. All right. So yeah, EA Sports went ahead and goofed up. So you guys did not see yesterday open up like five of these present player packs and I was so confused because I was pulling 82s and I was like wow this is like really not worth it because that meant the presents were worth like 70 these packs were scheduled at 70,000 coins right and you got 185 plus 170 plus overall and one large present which equal to 70,000 coins so i said okay well if you take away this 85 plus right so that equivalents by twenty thousand coins plus you take away that and then you just give us the gold card that's probably like another like a thousand coins at most that means these presents are equal to around fifty thousand coins which is really crazy because these are guaranteed large presents well ea sports messed up and they went ahead and fixed their mess up by making these cheaper and now making it 82 plus overall. So in yesterday's video, when it said 85 plus, that was actually a mistake. They were never supposed to be 85 plus. They were supposed to be 82 plus, but they said 85 plus. I'm not sure if the EA Sports are gonna do make rights. They're supposed to probably do make rights, but it's EA Sports. They're away for Christmas. Christmas is in two days. I'm not sure if EA Sports is gonna do anything to fix this situation. But nonetheless though, that's interesting because what this means is that the price of large presents are now probably around 40,000 coins. What? So the value of a large present is 40,000 coins. If I go over, right? And I show you, I just opened up like, I think six or seven presents. I want to say, yeah, something like that. Right. That means these presents right here are the value of 40,000 training or less. Pretty much the value of a... Actually, not right now. Is it right now? How much is a uh, 6,000? Yeah, pretty much the value of a training pack. Right now, a training priority pack. These are the same equivalent value. So think about every single large person you have as a training pack. And everything that is smaller than a large present, so anywhere from these small harvest cards right here, or the AKA presents, or whatever, they are all less than the value of a trading priority pack. So they're all less than 40,000 value. Now, obviously, yes. Could you pull something crazy out of them? Correct. But if you think about these are all as all packs in the store currently, right? We go over to Zero Chill. I have, let's think equipment wise, right? These are just, let's say these were packs in the store. Let's see these were packs like, it's an AKA player, get, uh, you got an 80 plus overall AKA player. That's why their value of 1,030 training slash why they're less than 40,000 coins worth of value. So it's kind of interesting because I wonder if these blitz cards are also 40,000 coins worth of value. I'm going to guess not. Well, they would have made it when the pack let you be able to get any large present possible, whether that was a zero show large or was it whether it was a, you know, a blitz large or a um, not zero show right there, but like these type of lodges too, right? Instead, they made these separate bundles. So <sighs> this is either going to be the biggest trash present bundle opening video i've ever made in my life on christmas because of how bad these packs are actually going to be or this is going to be pretty mid i don't think this is going to be as good as we think it is and yes you know these pres these player presents well these ones right here the ice snowy frosty yes they're going to be pretty decent but they were 44 dollars to get them um, you guys pay $44 to get all three of those. So there should be like probably equivalent value, maybe a hundred thousand coins each. But unless you have player presents, which are, where are my player presents? Cause I don't know if you guys saw, but I actually pulled two ag presents. So now I have six player presents total. Unless you have player presents, it might be almost more or less pointless to have these other gifts. Now again, don't get me wrong. When I say that, I mean for the value, right? 40,000 coins, 
value for these gifts. Now, I mean, sorry, these gifts are less than 40,000 coins value. So, but again, you could pull this gift on Christmas and it's an 85 plus overall legend pack and you end up pulling a 94 overall Kurt Warner. Now, how will the market adjust to these gifts, right? Because there's so many people right now with so many gifts. I have 450 gifts, right? I did not spend a thousand dollars to get 450 gifts. I spent mainly at most. I did have six point oh sorry, five point five million coins, right? Which is not too hard to get if you do spend money. So I'm gonna put the value of all these gifts around three four hundred dollars, around that price tag range, right? So if you got to think about this, right? Three four hundred dollars for all these gifts. What's the market gonna look like? And I have four hundred fifty, but like let's say the average person just playing zero chill pass, like. Let's say you're a no money spent player, like you don't spend money, you, you don't care about money, and you just play Madden. Well, if you got done the zero chill pass right now, which is very possible to have done, especially if you have grinding out like mutt champions and stuff, you get all of these gifts for free. You get all the gifts for the mutt miss calendar every single day, plus you get gifts from solo challenges. So if you just no money spent, you're probably still sitting at like roughly 20, 30 gifts. And if you did spend your own coins on gifts, you could be sitting at 60, 70, 80 gifts without spending any money in this game. So the average month player right now, I'm feeling like at least has 60, 70 gifts. The average month player. Obviously, there's someone like me who, you know, 450. Then there's bigger YouTubers that spend thousands upon thousands upon thousands. And they probably have like a thousand gifts, right? But I have 450. So if you think about that, that means on Christmas Day, this Sunday, you're going to have the average mutt player have 80 packs on their account. Up to someone like me who spent money, 450 um, packs on their account. Unless EA Sports makes the odds of all this stuff absolutely phenomenally awful this market is going to crash this market is going to be awful can you guys say well well what if people pull just 80 overall cards guess what there's sets in the game there's a lot of sets in the game and you know what these sets let you be able to do let me go ahead and show you guys something real fast right um let's go to um let's actually let's go to harvest set Right here, right? Go to Harvest Set, right? Um. Oh, did not know I could complete that set. Anyway, so let's go to Harvest Set, right? And we go down here. What do these sets let you do? Oh, you get to make 84 overalls? Okay. Well, what if you have, I don't know, 80 Harvest Gifts? And you get all 80 overalls. You put them all in this set. And let's say you get lucky, you pull some 84s. You put them in this set. You get the 90s. What happens when you get the 90s? Then you put them in these sets. And eventually, all of these players, right? Unless someone, you could easily pull these gifts too. You could easily pull all these players. But let's say you get so many gifts that you complete all these sets. You can now complete these sets. Get these sets, sell the players. So even though, yes, you might not pull the crazy overall cards, you might not pull the 93 overall Randy Moss, if you get enough of these gifts that you actually have all these done, you can complete all these sets, then guess what? You can complete all these sets too. And if you complete all these sets, then you can go and sell that card and make coinage. Obviously, meaning if you're making coinage, guess what's happening? Everyone's doing the same thing. The market Have you guys seen the campaign? If anyone of you guys seen the campaign Will Fellow? Will, Will Farrell. Oh my god. There's a scene in there where Will's character messes up, right? And they say like, you know, they're showing like the the chart, right, of how successful he is, right? And he's like ja, 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 ja. phone call, right? And then the go straight down we messes up in the phone call this is the present right the presence right here's the market will fortune right going up going up presence straight down so we might not see an insane 
market increase or an insane mar sorry, an insane amount of players getting crazy good cards but we might see an insane amount of people getting crappy cards that just tank the market and destroy the market it's gonna be an interesting christmas guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next one peace out